Let's talk about drawing in Stitch Artist, in particular the different types of nodes that you can create on the fly by combining keyboard keys with the left mouse click. When you choose to draw with points, each time you left click with your mouse, you create a curved node connected by an object line. Curved nodes are created by default. Right click to complete your drawing input. When you select a node, the bezier handles are displayed and they control the shape of the object line. When a curved node is selected, the bezier handles react in a balanced fashion on either side of the node. Think of a teeter-totter. If you move one side, the other side reacts in an equal fashion. Curves allow you to create smooth curving objects with minimal nodes. When you choose to draw with points and hold the shift key down while left clicking your mouse, the nodes you create are called cusps. They are round like curved nodes, so you know that they will have bezier handles. However, each handle controls its side independent of the other side. Only one object line segment is adjusted at a time. This allows you to change direction of a curved object such as in waves or a heart shape. When you choose to draw with, with points and hold down the control key while left clicking your mouse, the nodes you create are square which means you are creating lines. A line node does not have a bezier handle. It will always be straight from one node to the next node. Using keyboard commands to draw your nodes can save time, but remember that you can always select a node, right-click on it, and choose a different node type from the pop-up menu. In Stitch Artist Level 3, you have the option to change the default left-click action from Curve to Align by using this menu button. When you left-click, the nodes will be lines, and holding down the Control key will give you curves. Just one more time-saving feature for the times when you might need it.